Warning, the following video is raw and unscripted. Ranting and rambling may occur. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't let the ghosts and the ghouls disturb you. Hey guys, it's Josh from Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake. I uh, I know it's been a while since I've been on uh, YouTube or Instagram or anything like that. Uh, just been a lot going on in my life, and I've uh, just been rather busy and dealing with some things. But uh, today I decided I'd come back and uh, do a quick little spoiler-free. Well, mostly spoiler free. There's just something I have to say about this film. Um, but we are doing Willy's Wonderland. Now, um, some of the characters were very recognizable in this. The main one, of course, being Nicolas Cage. You know, and uh, I'm just going to get this out of the way. Known for <laughs> always having a lot to say in movies and just, you know, he's just a character. Any movie you watch with Nicolas Cage dude's always such a character um now this movie this is the one spoiler i'm gonna give he doesn't say a damn word throughout the whole movie i was so impressed that this motherfucker did not utter a single syllable word sentence anything like that had to be hard <laughs> literally all it was was grunting and gestures and like you know, just eye contact and like, you know, everybody else had a lot more to say and he was just kind of that silent, strong type in this film and I liked it. It was fun. I was just like, by the end of the movie, I'm like, dude, is he going to say anything? Like, I was thinking like at the end, he'd like maybe say like even a word and I was surprised when it rolled to the credits and sure enough, nothing. Um, the uh, music in this film was pretty decent. Um, there, there's a song, you know, for Willie's Wonderland, um, kind of, it was kind of corny, but I, I, I dug it. I dug the style that they used for that track. Um, and you know, it's just a fun, campy, um, horror movie. Um, you know, it's like, uh, Essentially, it's like, I don't I don't really know anything about it, but like kind of like that Five Nights at Freddy's kind of situation going on. You know, uh, killer animatronics. I won't go into why they're killer animatronics, because that would just be a spoiler. Um, but yeah, you got that whole thing going on. Um, and, you know, Nicolas Cage is our main central focus, the star of this film. And, uh, you know... It was fun. I mean, not much you can really say without giving away anything because it's a very sim semi-simplistic film. It's nothing like crazy, but it's just fun. And like, you know, it's, it's a Friday night. You're looking for some cheesy, fun, campy horror movies. Dude, this is right up your alley. It's a fun watch. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm pretty sure my wife enjoyed it too. And uh, it was a good way to, you know, kind of semi-end my birthday as we watched Willy's Wonderland. And then we watched uh, Don't Breathe 2. Um, which, <laughs> that film was something too. Um, I really enjoyed the first one. And this one went in a different, that one went in a different direction. So that, we'll save that for another time. Um, if I was to rank... Willie's Wonderland, for what it is. Um, let's actually do multiple ratings. Usually I do just one flat rating. Let's, let's do it on different scales here. So, in the scoring of fun, campy, kind of semi-B, B horror, uh, this definitely scores, like, pretty high. So I'd give it, like, a at least, like, an 8 out of 10. 
on it just being like a fun, campy movie. Um, practical effects, not too bad. Um, I would rank the practical effects at least, at least a six. I mean, they weren't like the best practical effects I've ever seen, but like with like the the lighting and like the way that they did things, it, it worked pretty okay. Um, and overall, for an overall score, um, just as like a horror film itself, I would give this movie taking everything into account and rounding it out, I'd give it about a about a 6.5. Between 6.5 and 7. We'll just go ahead and round up and give it a 7. It was fun. It was campy. It was B-rated horror. Had a had a fun soundtrack. And uh and Nicolas Cage just made this film so interesting in a different way. Because usually you know how he is in all his films. So he's usually like a big kind of loudmouth kind of person. And just like some of the shit he says, you know, it, it always gets me. But like this one, just having him not say anything at all and just focus mainly on his uh, demeanor and just his like aura that he gives off, like... It was fun. So, some people might say that's high because, you know, it was, like I said, a kind of a... Sorry, there's lots of bugs out here. Uh, being like a cheesier kind of flick, you know. Um, I enjoyed it. So, definitely go check it out, you know. Like I said, run it from Redbox or something, you know. You're looking for like a fun... Like a fun... What the frick just attacked my head? Um, like a fun... Friday night, Saturday night, just relaxed, got some snacks, some alcohol or some whatever you want to drink, and just kick up your feet and give it a watch. It's, uh, it's great. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for hearing me out and uh, listening to my rant. Um, it's been a while, and uh, hopefully some of you guys missed me. I, I know it's been like... Maybe like a week or two since I've done anything. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please, to my channel. If you uh, enjoy this kind of stuff or into horror. Uh, never uh, hesitate to shoot me a DM or comment and leave your thoughts on my videos or like suggestions or anything uh, of that nature. And uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, have you in the Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake family. I um, also want to give some shout-outs to uh, some of my friends here. Um, MW Horror Reviews. Um, the Incredible Josh on uh, Instagram. He's got some things he's doing, too. Um, Scott from uh, the You Run Podcast. And uh, my good buddy Louie at the Clintonville Slasher. He's got some fun stuff up too, you know, whether that's the Slasher Hour. Uh, his own personal videos that are just him. And uh, some of the movies that they make. Um, yeah, all these people have uh, some, some good stuff going on. Uh, so definitely check them out as well. Um, I will leave links to their uh, YouTubes and Instagrams. Uh, in the description box. So, uh, yeah. Um, keep killing it out there, my friends. Just remember. Don't get...